one. Cold, hard cash. It's good everywhere you go, right? You can use it for anything, to pay for anything. But that's not the case here in Louisiana now. It's a law that was passed during this year's busy legislative session. KLFY TV 10 Eyewitness News reporter Doug McDermott joins us live in the newsroom with how a bill like this could have flown so far under the radar. Doug. Well, Darla, basically House Bill 195 says those who buy and sell secondhand goods cannot use cash in those transactions. And it flew so far under the radar that most businesses don't even know about it. We're going to lose a lot of business. We don't want this cash transaction to be taken away from us. I mean, it's an everyday transaction. Danny Guidry owns the Pioneer Trading Post in Lafayette. He deals in buying and selling unique secondhand items. I think everyone in this business, once they find out about it, they're going to definitely be, there's going to be a lot of uproar. The law states those who buy or sell secondhand goods are prohibited from using cash. State Representative Ricky Hardy co authored the bill. They give a check or a cashier's money order or an electronic. One of those three mechanisms is used. Hardy says the bill is targeted at criminals who steal anything from copper to televisions and sell them for a quick buck. Having a paper trail will make it easier for law enforcement. It's a mechanism to be used so the police department could be able to have something to go on and have a lead. Gidry feels his store should not have to change its ways of doing business because he may possibly buy or sell stolen goods, something he says has happened only once in his eight years. We are being targeted for something that we shouldn't be. Besides nonprofit resellers like Goodwill along with garage sales, the language of the bill encompasses stores like the Pioneer Trading Post and flea markets. Lawyer Thad Ackle Jr. feels the passage of this bill begins a slippery slope for economic freedom in the state. The government is placing a significant restriction on individuals transacting in their own private property. Pawn shops, have, pawn shops have been forced to keep records of their clients for years, but in this new law, they're still able to deal in cash. Live in the newsroom for KLFY TV tonight, Witness News, I'm Doug McDermott. Thanks, Doug. Well, it was another warm day as we head deeper into fall, but will the air soon catch up with the calendar? When's the chill down coming? Well, hold on. Let's find out from live.com.